Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of EOS. I'm your host, Jack Wells. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter as Jack Wells. And you can find me on Telegram as Blue Abelino. And last but not least, you could check out my channel here in YouTube for more EOS related content. So let's start the day by looking at our top cryptocurrencies. Uh, all the currencies are up. Uh, Bitcoin is up 1.12%. It is now 6,437 US dollars. Ethereum is up 4% to be uh, $208. Ripple is up 1.89% to be about 46 cents. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is up 5%. Bitcoin Cash has been uh, on a roll for the last few days uh, because they have a Harfa coming up. And both uh, Binance and Coinbase stated they will support the half work. It is unclear whether Coinbase will support um, both versions of the half work. It doesn't sound like the case so far. So if you are buying into Bitcoin Cash and wanting to get a token on both chains, just make sure you check and if check the policies of Coinbase and Binance. To see if that's going to be the case eos is up 1.9 percent 1.09 percent today to be five dollars and 48 cents speaking of coinbase and eos uh one of the chief officers of coinbase have just signed on to be a judge at the san francisco hackathon the eos san francisco hackathon is coming up this week it's going to be happening in um, November 10th to 11th. It's a weekend, Saturday, Sunday. I'll be there um, updating live the event. So if you are interested, follow me on Twitter and you would be, you will have all those updates coming to you. So <coughs> Excuse me. So obviously just having the... Uh, Chief officer, one of the chief officers from Coinbase, join as a judge does not mean EOS is going to be, to be listed on Coinbase anytime soon. However, it is uh, good to know that Coinbase is paying attention to the ecosystem, is uh, paying attention to EOS, and that they might consider adding it to their roster of tokens. Speaking of adding ro to a roster of tokens, we have Banker X, uh, which surprised, no, which uh, excited everybody yesterday with their post of a big X. So if you don't know, Banker is preparing to launch their platform on EOS, and uh, I guess this is just a teaser of what's to come. They have mentioned a bunch of tokens they will be listing with the Banker e X ecosystem. So here are the list of tokens. Um, some of them are pretty well known, like Everpedia, Horus, uh, Dios, Meet That One, High Vibes, etc. Some of them are less well known, like CryptoBank, CoArt, and Fitblocks. So it is, in it is interesting to see the mix of tokens they're launching with. Um, not quite sure what their selection criteria is. But there you go, folks. That's the token that's going to be coming to the brand new Banker X platform in the coming days. Hopefully the coming days. Okay, so while we're on the topic of higher vibes, they just listed, they just airdropped their tokens. Uh, I got about 7.6 of them. I'm not sure what the ratio was. Uh, my account is always moving funds around, so don't know when they took their snapshot. But that's what I got, 7.6 tokens. If you look over to the token side, the left hand of the screen, you see that there's an extra new token called the Wins token. This is another dice game, dice based game token. Um, so just be wary of these uh, games uh, because yesterday there was a big news surrounding EOS 7. So if you don't know, EOS 7 is one of the many many dice games that have launched on the EOS network. And yesterday, there was a massive drop in evaluation. So a lot of people are calling it fraud, a scam. Uh, we don't know the full details yet. The news so far has been that one of the teammates, um, and here you can see a telegram update from EOS 7 team. Um, they have stated that 
One of their teammates decided to sell at the market price on new decks. From this experience, we'll announce team token lockup implementations and token burn in order to reduce the current circulating supply and prevent dumping. We'll also buy back SVN tokens in the market. Our AR7 sincerely apologize for the situation. So that's the story so far. So it seems like one of their teammates have sold the tokens, uh, but they say they have implemented token lockups. They have made a few uh, contract transfers. They are in the midst of ICO, if uh, that's if I recall correctly. Um, so just be very uh, wary of these uh, token games. I mean, these dice games. I personally. I find that if it's just another dice game on the ES platform, it's a bit suspicious. Um, I like to see teams come out with different projects. There are many, many things to do on the ES platform. And if they're just taking an open source dice contract and adding a brand new coating of paint to it, it shows that they haven't put too much effort into the project and is potentially just a cash grab. So just be careful when you are selecting projects to invest. Uh, I would personally advise you to look for projects that are not dice games. And yeah, so I have recently partnered up with LLG. That is not a dice game. Uh, they do Baccarat on the um, EOS blockchain. Uh, we we have did a media partnership together. Um, they don't want me to reveal. The details of that yet but just keep in mind uh look, be look be on the lookout for that in the future i think uh, eos bet no sorry uh bet dice is also launching a baccarat game today so i'll try to make a live stream of the game if possible so if you want to watch that be sure to catch me on twitch as jack wells and that's all the news we have for today before we go i want to thank the new subscribers uh, I want to thank our new subscribe welcome and thank our new subscriber Marco and also I want to thank James for the compliment uh, good James commented good luck with your new channel like the laid back view and concept thank you very much for that uh, and I'll continue to work hard uh, if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe uh, leave a comment I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible uh, these comments and likes uh, very gi gives me a lot of motivation to keep doing what I'm doing, doing these researches, waking up early to record these videos. So again, once again, thank you very much, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow.